The Talking Pot, a Norwegian mm -hmm. folk tale. Mm -hmm. We're sitting at the table. And the wife said, dear, what are we going to do? We can't grow any crops. The winter is coming. How are we going to provide for ourselves? The man thought and thought and said, ah, we could sell our fine fat cow. The wife looked at him with disbelief. But dear. Our cow, our, our cow is neither fine nor fat. Why would you want to be selling her? We'll make a bit. I'm sure we'll make just a wee bit of money to get us through. All right, dear. Then this will be the last time we have our fine, fat cow. <laughs> the next morning, the man went into the barn and he harnessed that fine, fat, and off he and the cow went as the cow shuffled her way through the path. As they got nearer and nearer to the marketplace, there was a strange little man standing in the path. This little man had a pointed cap upon his head and antlers. He had a long, long beard that touched to the ground. And under his arm was a black, three-legged pot. Where you be going? Where you be going down the path with your fine, fat cow, sir? The man looked. You mean me and my cow? Well, yes, I was thinking about her, and I, I, I thought I could offer you this black three-legged pot in exchange. Would you be willing for the bargain? And the man looked and said, We've got lots of three-legged pots at our house. Why would I need one? Ah, but I need your fine, fat cow. Won't you share her with me? And said, but no, I need 20 farther, and if I don't bring the money home, my wife, she'll be beating on me tonight. But this pot, this pot is magic. Come on over here and touch this black three-legged pot and rub it, and you'll see the magic. So the man came over, and he rubbed it, and as he rubbed it, Pot began to sing. She'll be so surprised when you start to sing. Come along and we'll put you on a hook in the bar so we can surprise her. And that's just what he did. He put the pot on a hook in the bar and then he went inside the house. When he went in the house, his wife was anxious. Well, dear, dear, did you, did you sell our fine fat cow? Did you get lots of money to carry us through the winter? 
here. Why are you standing there like that, looking off with glee in your eye? Where's the money? And the man just stood there. I've got something better than money for you. What did you do at the market? Did you sell our cow? And where's the money? Oh, I have something better than money. Wait till you see it. I want to see it right now. What are you keeping from me? He took her hand and guided her into the barn. And he pointed to the black three-legged pot. There, there it is. There's the bargain. There's what I traded. A black three-legged pot? I have ten of them. Why would I need another when our larder is bare? Why would I need another? Just, just go over there. Touch that pot. It does have to touch it. So she went over and said, huh, touch the pot. And she touched the pot, and the pot began to sing. Shining me and put me on the fire. Clean me and shine me and put me on the fire. Oh, oh, the pot! The pot sings! Oh, it is a magic pot, dear. I'm so sorry I was angry with you. It's a magic pot. What will it bring to us? The woman wasted no time. She grabbed that pot, brought it inside, cleaned it and shined it, and hooked it onto the fireplace. I'm so excited, we have to go to bed. I can't wait to see what great riches this pot will bring us in the morning. They went upstairs and they slept through the night. But just as dawn broke, the woman and the man ran downstairs. And what did they find? As they took the pot off of the hook on the fireplace, the pot jumped out of their hands and started dancing around in the kitchen. And it was dancing and singing. I will skip, I will skip. How far will you skip? Up the hill and down the dale and into the rich man's house. Ah, ah, the pot sings and it's going off. Farewell, little pot, go and bring us something wonderful for today. And the pot skipped on down the road right to the rich man's house and saw that the kitchen door was open. The pot went into that kitchen of the rich man's house, jumped itself up onto the counter, and the rich man's wife was making a fine pudding. And she saw the pot and said, ah, just what I need for my fine pudding. She poured the cream into the pot and the melted butter into the pot, and she put the sugar into the pot, and some chocolate into the pot, and she began to stir it. Ah, little pot, you came just at the right time, that I could be the one, that I could make this delicious pudding, and you were just what I needed. <clears throat> then she went to grab that pot to put it away in the cupboard. When the pot slipped out of her hand, down onto the floor and started going out the door. And she said, stop, you're stealing my pudding. And the little pot said, not yours for long. And began to sing. I'm bound for the home of the poor man's house. Away I go, a skipping. I'm bound for the home of the poor man's house. Away I go, a skipping. The pot went right back to the poor man's house jumped up upon the table with that pudding solidifying right in it. The man and woman came in from the fields when they saw the pot. They said, ah, oh, little pot, what did you bring us today? What surprise? The pot was very still, and they looked. Oh, it's chocolate pudding, the finest from the rich man's house. They got their spoons, and they began to eat it. Oh, it's delicious. Oh, it's the best. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's wonderful. And they took their fingers and scraped it around the inside. Oh, yes, this is the best chocolate pudding we've ever had. Little pot, you've done well. So they cleaned the pot, shined the pot, 
and set it on the fire. They ate their dinner. They read a bit by the light of the candles. And then they went to their sleeping loft and fell asleep, dreaming good dreams of chocolate pudding. <gasps> and the woman said before going to sleep, I wonder what the pot will bring us tomorrow. They had sweet dreams that night. And in the morning, as the sun came up, they rushed into the kitchen again. And the little pot was already dancing around on the floor and singing. I will skip, I will skip, how far will you skip? Up the hill and down the dale and into the rich man's barn. The little pot skipped off. Goodbye, little pot, bring us something wonderful. And it went right into the barn, and the threshers were there beating the chaffs of wheat. When they saw the pot, they said, oh, oh, what, just what we need to put all of the wheat into. And they began to scoop, and they scooped, and scooped, and scooped all of the wheat into the pot. And just as they went to grab that pot, it slid across the barn the door. Stop! You're stealing our wheat! And the little pot sang out, it's not yours for long. <laughs> I'm bound for the home of the poor man's house. Away I go of skipping. I'm bound for the home of the poor man's house. Away I go of skipping. The pot went right back to the house settled himself on the floor this time. When the man and woman came in from the fields, they saw the wheat. Oh, look at all this wheat. There's enough to last us through this winter and the next. But let's share some with our neighbors. They parceled out the wheat and kept just enough for the two of them, and then went to their neighbors, who were also suffering from the drought, and gave it to them. The little pot was clean and shined and placed on the fire. And the man and woman had sweet dreams of the bread and cakes they would bake with the wheat throughout the cold winter. In the morning they came down and that little pot was ready to be off again. I will skip, I will skip, how far will you skip? Up the hill and down the dale and into the rich man's house. The pot went down the road, right into the rich man's counting house. And the rich man was in there counting his gold. I love my gold. Pieces of gold here and there. Oh, look, a perfect pot to put my gold into. He began to scoop the gold into the pot, and he scooped and scooped and topped it off. There, now I'll lock you away into my cupboard. And as he did, the pot slipped out of his hand, started out the door with the rich man calling, Stop, you thief! You're stealing my gold! And the little pot said, It's not yours for long. I'm bound for the home of the poor man's house. Away I go a skipping. I'm bound for the home of the poor man's house. Away I go a skipping. This time, when the man and woman saw the gold, they danced. I can't believe it. It is good fortune. You made such a good decision, my good husband. Now we have gold and more to last us a lifetime. But we will share some neighbors as well, part of our good fortune. And they parceled out the gold here and there and sent it to their neighbors who were filled with great gratitude. And the man and woman had just enough gold to last them perhaps a lifetime and longer. They could barely sleep that night thinking of their good fortune. And when the dawn came, they were down again, couldn't believe that the pot would go anywhere else but the little pot was off one last time. I will skip, I will skip, how far will you skip? Up the hill and down the 
the dale and into the rich man's house. The pot was brazen this time. When in the front doors, the double doors with the glass embedded, and stood itself right in the middle of the foyer. The rich man was coming down the curved staircase. When he saw that pot, he was enraged. There you are, you thieving scoundrel! You've stolen all my wife's pudding. You stole all of my meat, and you took my gold. I make you pay it back every last farthing and more. With that, he grabbed hold of the little pot. But try as he may, his hand stuck fast. He pulled this way, he pulled that way, but he couldn't let go of the pot. And the little pot began to sing, I will skip, I will skip. And the man in his anger shouted out, well, skip to the North Pole. <laughs> and that's exactly what the little pot did with the man holding on to the pot and trailing behind him. And they say, as a legend in Norway, that all you have to do is look upon the hills and at the shadows of the day, you will see a shadow of a man and a shadow of a pot, a fast skipping little pot from that day to this.